Hey, what's up, guys? Young Gamer here, and this is the second installment of my basic weapons uh, tutorial on Arma 3. Uh, today, we'll be covering the AAF uh, weapons portion of the basic weapons tutorial. Now, all the weapons right here are all the basic weapons for the AAF uh, forces. The AAF are the independent forces uh, for Arma 3. Uh, most of these guns are used in other video games, but uh, in this game, they are pretty much up to par with uh, the real life versions. the The name is not the same because the MK20 is actually an F2000. It's a, a Belgium assault rifle, remade to American standards back in early 2000, something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. But today, uh, just like the last tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the uh, AAF basic weapons uh, and tell you all about them. So let's get started. Uh, we'll be starting with the MK20 556 instead of the MK20C because the MK20 is the assault rifle version and the MK20C is the carbine version. I don't know why that one's on top, but we can just go ahead and start with this one. Uh, unlike the MX, this gun is not as powerful because it's a 556 and the iron sights are quite bad. But with this gun, it's uh, it's accurate. Uh, it's more accurate than the MX, but it does less damage. It has a higher fire rate for close quarters battle and has less kickback. As you can tell out there, you can just... You can pretty much control this gun. Unlike the MX, going full auto is hard to control or just... Uh, boasting. But if you just uh, slow down and go semi-auto, you can easily control it. Like uh, like you're holding a freaking pea shooter. <clears throat> With this gun, this gun is better at close quarters, but if you do need to take it uh, long range, be my guest. This gun can go. This thing. This gun can go up to 600 meters without a scope. And trust me, you won't be able to see that far. But if you can, you will be able to hit your target just by aiming at them if you have your uh, ranging up. This gun is about a five to six shot kill. Uh, chest. Uh, it's one shot kill head, but uh, from chest to legs, it's about a five to six shot kill. Uh, from about 150 meters or more. But if you're up close, say uh, say 110 meters or so. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. You can just freaking, since there's no kickback on this gun, you can just pop like crazy if you get in a firefight moving left to right. But if you do need to go full auto, uh, this gun does not have that much kickback, so you can just go full auto, or you can burst. It's easily controllable. It's it's easily controllable, and you can just spray on them. Much like the vector submachine gun for the NATO forces, you can uh, just walk back and forth, or up and down. If you walk back and forth, the back sight does get in front of you, in the way. If you do have a sight on it, that will not happen though. But with just iron sights, uh, it is recommended to use this gun with any type of sights with an iron sight. But if all you have is the iron sights, then try to get a steady shot. But if you are fighting someone up close, move side to side, not back and forth. So you can just burst fire at them. Uh, the, uh, like I said in the last video, the uh, human targets are bigger than the actually actual pop-up targets. So it will be easier to hit. <clears throat> your actual targets when you are uh, firing at them. On to the next gun. The next gun will be the MK20C, which is the carbon version of the MK20. Let's get rid of these empty mags. Ah, uh, never mind, we'll take those back. I need to start <coughs> having so plus. Oh well. This is the carbon version of the game 20. It uh, it's the exact same thing as the MK20, exact same gun, exact same stats, exact same everything, except for the range. It does go up to 600, but you will have to aim high, even though you're at 600 meters. Uh, it's not a sure shot. It's not as accurate, uh, and it's not as far uh, long range. This gun is built like a submachine gun. It's built for close ranges from 100 meters or closer, and it does have less kickback than the actual uh, MK20. easily controllable. It does reload decently fast. Um, it reloads faster than the actual MK20 by a few seconds, not a uh, few, yeah probably like two or three seconds actually. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can easily with uh, exactly like the uh, MK20 uh, saw rifle, it does the exact same position movements and whatnot. So all you have to do is just move side to side and just fire and you can easily get your target down. If you are far away though, just go semi-auto, zoom in and 
pop it out. You will kill somebody within five to six shots, just like the uh, regular MK20. On to the LMG. The LMG for the AF forces is the MT MK200, which is uh, an LMG I'm not familiar with. It is a high-powered LMG, though. It has good iron sights and it's very accurate. <coughs> it shoots a uh, instead of shooting a 556 five, like the like the uh, standard AF rifles, this shoots a 6.5, so it's on par with the MXSW, which is the LMG for the NATO forces, except for it holds the MXSW only holds 100 rounds, and it shoots uh, slower than the than um. MK200, sorry about that. And this gun is not semi-auto, it's full out only, but you can just tap the trigger. It does have more kickback than the um, MXSW, but you can uh, you can easily just go semi-auto with it by tapping the trigger. It's extremely accurate and it's about a 4-5 to five shot kill. Uh, just like any LMG in this game, LMGs are meant to take down vehicles. They're high powered. <coughs> Excuse me. They're high powered and meant to take down mostly any armored vehicle with uh, treads, tracks, wheels, or uh, rotors. So uh, you come across a tank, uh, like a heavy armored tank, an APC, an armored vehicle, uh, or a helicopter to shoot at the weak points, which would be the rotors, the wheels, or the uh, treads on most of them, and it'll take them down in about 150 bullets, give or take a few, if you miss or so. Now with this gun, it does have a lot of kickback when you're crouched or standing. And if you are moving back and forth, the sight does tend to move a lot and you will not get your shot. If you're moving up and uh, back and forth, you will definitely not be able to get your shot. This gun is meant for long ranges. Uh, proning. This gun has barely any kickback when you're laying down while you're prone. This is a good, perfect opportunity just to take some pot shots at anybody you're shooting at. It's easily controllable. That target, that target is going to stay down. If you do need to shoot somebody while running, just aim at them and just unload. This gun, uh, this gun does, this gun does lose fire rate uh, after shooting it for a long period of time, but it uh, gains it back immediately once you stop firing. It does have a uh, fast reload time, so if you do need to uh, reload on the fly, go ahead. I would recommend wasting all the ammo in one magazine, then reloading if you do have another. Just uh, just so you don't waste those bullets in that last magazine, because uh, the ammos do not st uh, the magazines don't stack on this game. So if you have 50 bullets in one magazine, you're gonna have 200 in the other, and if you reload again, you're gonna have 50 back in that magazine. The next gun we're gonna be going to is the PDDW 2000 9 mm It's the SMG. <clears throat> it's the SMG uh, AFF. Was the AFF SMG? Unlike the Vector, this is one of the worst SMGs there is. It is not. Everything's bad about it. The range can only go up to 200 meters. It's inaccurate and it has low power. There's not really there's not really to do much about this gun. It's just uh, if you find yourself in a pickle with this gun, just go ahead and go full auto. It doesn't have that much recoil. Has very little recoil. It doesn't have that much recoil, and just if you find yourself in a pickle, just go ahead, far away at close range, just unload on them. No matter if it's AI or a player, you're going to get some hits. You might not kill them, but if you are good enough, uh, just take some pot shots at them. I prefer burst fire, not three shot burst. Just go full auto and just go pop. Like, uh, do I have any more magazines in here? That's 45 ACP. See if I have any more magazines real quick. Stand by. 45 ACP. I've got some 15 round 9 millimeters. I'll just use these for now. Okay. This uh, this weapon can take any 9 millimeter rounds. Uh, 16, 30, 45, or if, uh, yeah, that's it. No, 9. There's 9, 16, 30, and 45. If you do find yourself in a pickle, you're far away or up close, just go ahead and just burst fire and just uh, take them out. If you are pretty close, Let's say uh, 100 meters, uh, no, let's go 80. 80 meters or closer, just, just move and shoot. This gun has barely any recoil, and your back sight will never block your shot. Uh, even if you are zoomed out or zoomed in, this the back sight will never block your sight. You just gotta, just gotta fire. 
Like I said though, it is one of the worst SMGs in the game to use. Not recommended, but if it's the only gun you have, uh, use the tips I've told you about, and you will more likely survive. Just go burst fire far away. Uh, stay full auto most of the time with this gun. If you are up close or you find yourself uh, in a pickle of more than one person, just uh, just go full auto. If you're up close, if you're far away, burst fire. Next, the pistol. The uh, only pistol on the AFF is the 45 ACP, which I don't think. Okay, now there is two different models. There's two different models of this 45 ACP. There's a nine millimeter. ACP, and then there's the actual 45 ACP. This gun, this gun's accurate. It's just I'm missing right now. There you go. Uh, like this is the same as all pistols. All the pistols are ranged for 100 meters, so you will have to aim high, especially at 500. Uh, I hit, I knocked him in the head right there. <clears throat> you don't have to aim that much higher. The uh, air, the ranging on this game is quite. Uh, it's realistic, but it's uh, weird. It's a little bit different than real life, but uh, this type of pistol is used for, like all pistols, close range only. But this pistol in general is more for close, close range, like inside of a building or since there's no shotguns in this game, uh, pistols or SMGs is recommended for breach and clearing. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, breach and clearing or just entering any type of building. Uh, this pistol would be the best. Uh, Unlike the 4.5 for the NATO forces, uh, the 4.5 has a lot of kickback and your back sight does get in front of you a lot. This gun, uh, it does move a lot, but there's barely any kickback to it and it'll give you a sure shot if you're moving or not. Huh, I just now noticed that. I put the, uh, I put the thing backwards. Oh, it doesn't matter. <coughs> uh, back to this gun. Uh, it only holds 9 rounds of 45 ACP. There are 45 vermin ACP, but that only goes for the vermin rifle. Uh, submachine gun. That's for the NATO forces. This gun can only hold nine round 45 ACPs. It does reload fast, and it is a uh, it is a five shot kill. So uh, closer than 75 meters. Further than that, I don't know. I haven't used it. Uh, I mainly pick this gun if I'm going to be going inside of any buildings or rushing somebody, and they're in like uh, inside of a building or other, on the other side of a barrier. Just gotta walk. Just gotta walk up to them, pull it out, and just fire at them. It's a five shot kill. Show shot. Really accurate. And I'm pretty sure that wraps it up for the uh, AFF forces. Yep. Uh, the reason I didn't show the MK20 uh, EGLM because it's the exact same thing as the MK20C. Um, <clears throat> not the MK20. The uh, MK20 EGLM is uh, MK MK20C. I don't know why they didn't add a C there. But this is the exact same thing as the MK20C. It's the carbon version, but just with a grenade launcher. Um, I don't use grenade launchers. I'm not that experienced with it. Uh, I will not be doing a tutorial on grenade launchers. Uh, if I do get better with them, I might do a tutorial. The grenade launching in this game is quite weird. Uh, the ranging is way off with them. And it's just, uh, it's just weird, all in general. But that wraps it up for the AFF forces, uh, for the basic weapons tutorial. Uh, if, if you want to know about, if you want to know more about any of the, uh, AFF weapons, uh, I did go in depth, but there might have been some stuff. That I left out. If there's anything that I left out, just be sure to leave in the comments. If you want to know anything more about the uh, AFF or NATO weapons, uh, be sure to leave in the comments. Uh, I have one video out for the NATO weapons already. That was the first tutorial. This is the second. If you want to go check that out, I'll leave a link in the description for the NATO weapons. Uh, that's it for now. See you later.